this is the improv section uh, where one of you all get to come up and do this, okay? <laughs> no. I do need some participation, though. Raise your hand if you are a parent of a child under 19 years old, 18 or under. Okay, keep your hand raised if you lost your temper in the last month with that. 80% of parents report that they've lost their temper with their kids. How about this morning? 20 20% lie in these types of things. So, I'm going to talk about the ways that I've had to deal with uh, learning about myself as a parent. Fifteen years ago, we got the great news. My wife and I were going to have a baby. Uh, she was going to have a baby. I was going to be a dad. And I was so excited about it. I was working at an elementary school at the time. Teachers would come up to me and say to me, you're going to be such a great dad. And I made my first parenting mistake. I believed them, <laughs> that I was going to be a great dad. But I learned, I, I tried to learn all the different ideas and techniques on how to be a great dad. Went to the hospital, Max came out, bundle of joy like they normally are, it's, everything's wonderful. And the nurse starts teaching me these different techniques to, to deal with them. I didn't know anything about kids. One was swaddling. You ever heard of swaddling? It's like making a burrito out of your kid, and it makes them calm down, right? Some kids, it makes them calm down when some people do it. I would try to swaddle Max, and he would pull his arms out, you know, and pull the other one out and start crying. And so I'd do it again, okay? Maybe I'm not doing it strong enough. So I'd try again, and he'd pull his arms out again. And I'd ask my wife, what am I doing wrong? And Colleen was like, Neil, you're doing fine. I just had a baby. Please, let me sleep. <laughs> and I started getting mad at myself. And then I started getting mad at Max. It's like, why isn't he doing this? And then one of the times when I'm trying to bundle him up, he looks over at me, and <laughs> trust me, that's not him. He wouldn't let me put one up. He looks at me, and he pulls his hands back out again. And I'm like, you little son of a gun. I hadn't slept much either, but I'm thinking he's doing this to me. And the thing I learned about myself that I didn't know is I have a temper. And I learned it in the worst possible way with this little baby. And if I didn't, would, wouldn't learn, and if I didn't learn how to rein that in, I was going to be in some serious trouble. The other thing I learned is kids don't come with a user's manual. They also don't come with a remote control. I can't control my son. My son, even as a newborn, was controlling himself. And in fact, I'm not supposed to control my son. I'm not supposed to lose my temper. I'm supposed to lead my son. The best thing that we know, need to learn how to do as parents is how to lead our children. Because that's what they need from us. They need us to lead them. When we don't do it well, we end up producing two types of kids. The scared ones and anxious ones, and the self-entitled little brats. The scared ones, you know, we call them the people pleasers when they get older, because they're all focused on somebody else's mood. That if, if I lose my temper, Okay, it's my daughter's opportunity to do something about it. It's somebody else's job to calm me down. When I lose my temper, that's what I'm teaching my kids. Now, the other ones, you know, the oppositional defiant, we call them in my field. They're like, okay, you really going to lose your temper because I get a C? Let's see what you're going to do when I get an F. They like being able to push our buttons. It's why losing our temper doesn't work. Leadership is a whole lot more about the leader than it is about the kids. That you notice, this penguin's not looking towards the followers. He's looking away, figuring out where he's going to go next. That's a crucial piece to remember when it comes to being a parent. Farmers, they don't raise seedlings, do they? They raise corn. What do we say? We say we're raising children. We're not raising children. We're raising grown-ups. And they need our leadership to be able to do that. Now, what I've learned is there's like three ways that we can be really great leaders when it comes to kids. One is being the supporter, one is being the consultant, and one is being a boss. The goal, the, the art, is figuring out which one to do when. During homework, should I be a supporter, consultant, or boss? When my kid comes home after curfew, should I be which one? And that's a lot of the art of becoming a great leader with our kids. So the two things... The two big takeaways that I did not learn intuitively about being a parent, especially that first day of being a dad, was I need to stay calm, 
and I am not in control of my kid, which is probably a good thing. Thank you all.